everyone, my name is Matt Scorpion and welcome back to Destiny 2. And if you log in this week, you'll notice a bunch of new things, and that is Iron Banner has started up once again. If you haven't been keeping track of the messages on Fridays, it pretty much warned us that Iron Banner was going to be coming back around. And a quick side note, if you did the quest last week that was the hand cannon kills, the energy weapon kills, the scout rifle kills, that little bit, you don't have to do it again. You can just do straight bounties if you want new pinnacle gear and tokens. So if you did them all on all three characters, you shouldn't have to do another quest until next season. So moving on, we also have a bunch of new things. For example, we have Iron Banner, we have Infamy for the Taken, and we have a new quest available at Crow. Now you'll be told once you log in that you will have a quest for Crow, it's the Coupe de Grasse, and it is essentially, supposedly, tracking down the High Celibate in the game. And here's where we get our last lure upgrade. So here's where I think that if you've been keeping up to date, you'll be able to finish Warden. Because we were missing an upgrade for the lore, that can be finished, and then there is a secret triumph that can also be finished, which I'm assuming is a few step process, which might be this last secret quest. So Warden could be available today. So, with that said, moving forward to our usual other reset update, like I said, there's additional uh, Valor points for the Taken Crucible. Dawning is still upon us, at least for another week or two, depending on how much they want to tell us, and the arrangement of stuff is actually looking pretty nice. Oh, the Lament Ornament is available, which even though I don't like the look, I might pick it up just so I am not missing an ornament. Ooh, the Izanagi Shell. That actually looks pretty pretty. And let's see else, the Stasis Entrance, the one I've got because Stasis is cool. And Copper Tone Patina, let's see how this, that's, that's an odd one. I don't exactly hate it, it's real shiny. But also for all the, all the other ones, we have the weird little Protea shell from Season of which I think I called the Roomba shell or something. The No Worries email, which you are just not worrying about a damn thing. The Halcyon shell, which looks like an old uh, Russian computer. I almost thought it was a hologram site, but that's just me. The Spill the Tea mode from this season. Um, this is actually a new one. I haven't seen this anywhere. I'm not sure what the reference there is, but... Uh, yeah. And the Atlas Hauler. This is one of the new ships that I hadn't seen around much, aside from the store itself. And actually, it doesn't look too half bad. I might put that on my Hunter. And of course, the Feeling Lucky exotic ornament for Hawkmoon, which I am personally running right now, because I actually like the little reference in that one. So moving on to the other brightest of wait a minute. Okay, dawning is over. Actually, no, never mind. Dawning is over, but for some reason Eva Levante is still here and okay. I'm a, yeah. So dawning's over, but they haven't rotated the look of the tower yet. So all of our ovens should no longer be magical of some or just plain gone. So yeah, dawning has officially ended. It just doesn't look it. So, keeping that in mind, going to the usual Brighta store for our usual arrangements, we have the accidental dance emote, which is just somebody making motions and accidentally dancing, as well as the ten grass. Or wow, all these Ignagi stuff. This one actually doesn't look half bad. It's just, I don't know. It's not me. Then the Ampulence LXXX from Season of the Warmind, one of those old Destiny 2 style ships, and then the Lethal System ornament, which is essentially. Uh, Hard light, but it's got a little bit of a dressing to it. And then we also have the cross step shuffle. It's another dance. And then of course the Forbidden Vidge's Helm, which on some characters actually looked pretty good. I'm not so sure about Titan, just because it's another plain ornament. Or like the old Tangled Shore Helm, but I don't mind that on other characters. And also the Harpy Shell from Season of the Undying. Not a bad looking shell, although you might, your ghost might get shot accidentally. Moving on to transmit effects, we have the stasis effect again. We also have the Cabal Shield Breaker again. We have the Reef Awoken, which is a lot less purple than it looks in the ornament. And then for shaders, we have Burst Light, which is purple, no green. And then Temperature Wash, another one from Black Armory that I've seen a bunch. A nice little white and blue with some darker colors. And we have Mercurian Sunshine, which is pretty much copper and bronze in the color with some silver. Basically, sun bleach and Avalon Meteor Gloss, which is basically silver, blue, and shiny. So with that, that is all the new brightness stores. Moving on throughout the world, like I said, there's a new quest available at Crow. But moving on to Europa, we have the Agility Simulation again. We have the Dark Priestess as our weekly... Min oh wait, no, that's not it. We have the Tech uh, Warrior. 
So if you're hunting that, that's what you have to go for. The Okay, so this is an unfortunate thing. The Insteria Abyss is the current Eclipse Zone. So, I hoped that we would be able to do uh, the last Augment this week. But, there, since there is one more Triumph, basically, we'll finish this when we finish these other two. We need one more week of Penguins. This week we can finish the Penguins. And this week we could have done the last Augment. But unless it's auto-made to fix, then... Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait till next week to oh, get splintered. So with that, splintered will be available next week, hopefully, unless Bungie pull the big brain play. And if you only have one left, it'll take you to the area you need to go. So be sure to check out the Techno Runner and be sure to check your augments for splintered. I'm not sure whether or not it is fixed, but in case it's not, just go ahead and do it. So with that, the strike for this week's nightfall is the. Cosmodrone with Omnigol, the disgrace to or Novoza, or whatever you want to call it. So, nothing new in Gambit. Crucible has the bonus infamy, and it has Showdown in Rumble in addition to Iron Banner if you don't like light engaged combat. So, with that, that is about all I have for you on the reset update. I will make a video on the High Celebrant just because current events, but aside from that, that is about all I have for you. In this video, my name is Matt Scorpion. If you enjoyed the video, a like, share, subscribe would be definitely appreciated. Any support would go a long way to helping the channel. So with that, I will see you in the next video.